Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to make foaming tool in Autodesk Inventor 3D software. In this, we are going to first make the punch tool and we will then place it on the sheet metal part to make uh, to make the profiles. So first we will make this punch tool. So let's get started. Take a new, take a part in sheet metal millimeter. Go to 2D sketch, select the start 2D sketch. Go to the exit plane, rotate the top view. Now go to two point center rectangle, select the center point. And drag it outwards give the dimension 50 tab 50 okay now finish the sketch now go to face command it will automatically select the sketch and make the sheet metal profile and press ok from here you can change the sheet metal thickness the default thickness is 0.5 mm uncheck this and delete this and write 1 by default it will take 1 mm ok now you can see the thickness has increased now to make this punch profile select this face click on 2d sketch Rotate the view. Now we will select here two point rectangle. Make a rectangle here and give the dimensions this length. Click on this arrow. Go to list parameters. From here you will see, okay, it's not here. Type here length equal to 40. Okay. Similarly, for height, click on this uh, here, right? Height equal to 5. And okay. Now, as you can see, this is not constrained. Go to coincident constraint, select this line and select the center point. Now go to dimensions from center point. This will be half of 20 mm. Now it's fully defined. Here you can see fully constrained is written. Now we want to give the gem fillet. Go to fillet. From here, you can select the parameter as first you have to go to list parameter. From here, you will select the height. For height, uh, the dimension will be of height of 5 mm. You can see radius equal to 5 mm is written here. Click on these two. Similarly, these two. Okay exit now finish sketch now go to 3d model go to revolve command by default it will select the sketch now it is asking you the axis of rotation this will be the axis of rotation nothing you have to do just change the degree to 90 degree X here it will be join extrude command will be here and ok now select this face go to 2d sketch and go to project geometry select this face one by one the edges and go to offset command select these all again and enter it will ask you 
in which direction you want to uh, do the offset if it's not dragging down just click till stop and now drag it downwards drag it downwards and now give the dimension 0 0.5 now change the view take the line command join the offset line this and this okay now as you can see this is not constrained go to dimension give the dimension okay select this and give the dimension 39 okay now finish sketch go to revolve command select the inner profile and select the axis will be this go to cut and give the angle equals to 90 degree as you can see here and a cavity is made and you can see the red profile which is cutting and ok now select this bottom face and go to 2d sketch change the view by dragging go to project geometry select the inside edges the inner edges and now select the line command the inside edges from here and select it here ok now go to 3d model go to revolve take the uh, don't take the revolve go to extrude command flip the direction from here go to list parameters and select the thickness and ok now this profile has been cut now for here we want to give the radius we want this radius over here so go to fillet command go to fillet just rotate this view you want to fill it on this edge select this edge now select the dimension you want to give fill it right click and go to list parameter select the parameter as thickness into 1.5 ok and ok ok now this profile is made now uh, how you will make this as punch tool to make it as punch tool first save the part and uh, make a new folder of punch tool 1 2 save and make it as punch tool ok to make this as punch tool go to manage go to extract feature go to sheet metal punch and select this revolve as you can see all things are ok and now we will give this an id punch 3 2 it will ask you the, to select the representation sketch click on this and the representation sketch will be sketch 2 and save it will open the all the where all the punches of sheet metal are being saved go to punches punch 3 2 and save 
if uh, during extract feature if there is any error it will ask you uh, the center point from where you are uh, you will place the punch so nothing uh, to worry just open the sketch and make a point over here point and place this point at center the error will be resolved okay now we will make this pattern on sheet metal save it again go to file take a new take a part in sheet metal millimeter go to 2d sketch select the exit plane rotate the top view now take the two point center rectangle give the dimension 150 tab 150 and finish sketch go to face command okay now select this top plane face and go to 2d sketch rotate it go to point command where you want to place the punch make three points over here or don't make this third point okay give the dimension from outer it will be 30 mm and from here it will be 15 mm okay now distance here will be from center to this will be 45 okay delete this make a rectangular pattern select this and the direction will be this as you can see the pattern is going upwards flip the direction take the count of 7 and the distance will be 20 and ok now take it as a pattern over here also go to rectangular pattern once again select whole profile and give the direction as this count of 3 distance of 45 and ok dimension from here is 30 ok it's perfect now finish sketch now go to punch tool it will ask you which punch you want to take we have made punch 32 so open it it will automatically place the punch and finish the profile is being changed now here just make a flange on this part to make the flange you know already know the command go to flange command the bottom flange take the distance of 10 mm bottom flange of all sides select this select this this and this apply so this was basically a tutorial for how to make the pattern of punch tool and how to make the punch tool i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you